I think there's more of like a angst. Like, I've missed the game. Like I miss the game a lot. You know, when, when you don't have that for a year, uh, it definitely hurts. It definitely brings it to, into more of a perspective for you how much of a blessing it is to be able to do what we do. Well, the Harrison football team will kick off their season tomorrow night against Glenwood Springs. As Danny Mata tells us, the Panthers plan to bring the wood this fall. Harrison is back to work. After having their season pushed back to the spring thanks to COVID, the Panthers are thrilled to have things back to normal. It was a lot to go through in all honesty, knowing COVID, our team quarantined by ourselves actually, so it was hard staying by ourselves, making sure that we don't have to worry about that. It was something, you know, because you didn't half the time we didn't even know if the next game would even go through because of COVID and it's it was a really crazy year with a lot of ups and downs and the, the shorter season threw it off. It was it was a really weird year. Harrison has lost just three games in the last three years, but after losing to Gateway in the Spring State semifinal, the Panthers are jacked to get back to action. I got that anger in me from losing the Gateway. Didn't feel that good, but I feel like we're going to do way better this year. I'm pumped. I'm ready to get back out there and have that redemption part of the story. It definitely is, too. I'm, I want it all. I'm ready for it. Any team that they put in front of us, I'm ready to play. We're all ready to play. Running back Kahar Briggs should be great again this season, and it helps that his offensive lineman, Jesse Weber, is his personal bodyguard. How do you keep your personal bodyguard happy? Don't talk bad about him. I learned my lesson with that. I take care of him. He just talks nice to us, I guess. I don't know. I, I just like him. With the Harrison Panthers, Danny Mott, the KRDO News Channel 13 Sports.